Hello, and welcome to a Friday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to be Friday, August 5th, 2022 Crosswords. So here's your spoiler alert for the Friday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini's always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Spot maybe? Skier? Uh, piano? Own up? Tit? Uh, GMC? There you go. Just the downs after spot. Kiwi giant, nice clue. The baseball giants and the football giants. Might have a heading to share, that's hard for menu. And crop. All right, well, now for the main event, that's the Friday Daily Grid, which is by Eric Agard and Brooke Husick today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what uh, Eric and Brooke have in store for us. Let's get into it. Compress hard. Item often wrapped after it's purchased. Fracas. Free in a way. Make out in Manchester. I think this will be snog. Traditional application for a Hindi, Hindu wedding. Henna, probably. Pounds on keyboards, question mark. Musical group. Okay. Comp sigh there, eats outside, perhaps. The Kitchen God's Wife Novelist, 91. One might offer a sweet message. And one way to be tried. In absentia or something. I just noticed this is a, it looks like a panda in the middle of my grid. They're often paired with nuts. Hair highlighting technique. Benefit, maybe a veil here. Oven ready, free. Is this, what is balayage? Is that, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, round holiday fair. Fierce, hard to control sort. Uh, thinking of a zodiac sign and coin collectors. I think this is maybe sofas. Maybe. Sounds of some pauses. Ums or ers? Let's go with ers. Okay, I don't know about sofas. This is DNA or RNA polymerase. Sleep aid said to reduce anxiety. And this is more cover than usual or what 20 across might offer. Okay. Parasite co-star Blank Chung In. Oh gosh. Kim. I don't know. Word is. Like they say or something like this. Alaska has the highest one in the United in the U.S. Latitude. Could be. Settle up. Like pay the tab. Hesitate at. Balk at. Staggered breathing, maybe gasps. Figure an Emma and a bird, food, or person. Kiwi. That's a mini tie-in. Tempers. Int activity with intense, fast-paced posing. Power yoga. Style points, question mark. Okay. Name that anagrized something you might smoke. Uh... Don't see it. Some cowboy wear. Make a lead balloon. Realm in Frozen. Arendelle. Right? Compilation for admiration. Be a real? Some nobility. No, probably not a real. Odes? Black Lady Sketch Show Network. And make a lead balloon. Okay. Frequently flooded area. Some leperids. Put an S here. Oh, maybe this is hashtags? Uh, round holiday fair again. Cigar here, Craig. Okay. Item in a husk. Maybe ear. No. Let's put in absentia here. Might be wrong, but maybe it says fen. 
Okay. Top notch. Cowboy wear. Chaps, maybe? Let's be aces, I guess. What is this round holiday fair? Maybe hairs here. And pies. Just pay the tab. I think I said something like that. Eats outside. Okay. Blank Burke. Doris Burke. Okay, I knew that. Office binder question mark. And female swan is a pen, I think. Um, I still won't see this, though. Get down. Ending with play or plate. Let me snitz here. I think it's Elton. Style points. Stilettos. Okay. Blank mob hip hop collective. This is probably mop. Cancelled. No go. This is Diana. ASAP mob. Princess Diana. What's the matter? Yeah. Matters made out of atoms. They might be standing or marching. Orders. Goof. Air. More cover than usual. Okay. We also to speak. Hmm. Little bits. Mates. French word that becomes its own opposite by changing the first letter to V. Oh, wow. Farm unit. Maybe a bail and HBO there. Some nobility. Maybe dukes? What is this then, though? What is it? Earls counts. This could be Sadden? Something is wrong. Oh, aces is what I wanted. Race ahead. You make your lead balloon. This is Helm. Dames. Okay. Church address for short. Hmm. Cloud often seen in the summer would be gnats here. Tis blank, but tis but blank name. Thy name. I think this is they say. Okay, candy heart. That's nice. Uh. What is this? I just don't know these. RNA or DNA? Um, hmm. I think RNA is more likely. Sleep aids that to reduce anxiety. It's probably un something and smush. Maybe shawl, altos, untie, lee, melee. Okay. Weighted blanket. Okay, yeah, so not. I didn't really believe in that one anyway. It's gonna be loose, I guess. Okay. What's this then? Oh, slots, so it's not loose. Okay. Maybe this is a veil after all, after all that. Latka, I see. Nuts and bolts and let go. Tiger, interesting. Denying here. What was this again? More heavy something. Okay, this is rev. Red tape, spouses, heavy security. Okay, soon here. It's iotas. When the when line outside a store, cart and notre and votre, our and your. Something the something food. Yeah, street food. I see. All right, made it through. Made it through. That was tough. Really not, not easy at all. 
really felt like I had to um to fight with some of the clues here. I did notice the uh, the left right symmetry, and to me, like uh, these look like panda eye markings, and this looks like a panda snout. To me, I see the face of a panda, but unfortunately, no no panda appeared in the grid other than the the one I imagined seeing. Um, now let's uh, let's take a look through this thing. Yeah, smush. Should be able to get that. Nuts and bolts. There's a lot of different kinds of nuts, though. Yeah, henna. I think generally people get henna on their like hands and arms in celebration. Oh, this is probably Amy Tan, isn't it? It is Amy Tan. So I guess on a um, on a harder puzzle, you don't need to clue. Amy Tan is the Joy Luck Club author. In fact, I mean, this is a choice of, of choosing to, to to clue Tan as a person. It's right about a veil. It's like a very vague clue for altos. It's got some of that difficulty from the vagueness. This also I knew was either likely to be either DNA or RNA, but I wasn't sure about that last one. We also had several uh, echoing clues here. Free and free. And then, uh, what was the other one? We'll see it when we come to it. Yeah, who, which one is Lee jung -un? Lee jung -un is the mother from Parasite. Yeah. There's a lot of leads you can clue. Um, I, I did see Parasite. I'm Korean. But I didn't remember Lee jung -un. uh, Yeah, I was right about several things. Just an anagram of cigar there. Yeah, these these long ones I think were quite hard because all there are many of the crosses I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure about Tan, I wasn't sure about the R here, even Fen. Husk, I thought it'd be Ear of Corn. I did know Doris Burke, because I've played <laughs> Uh, NBA 2K enough, but yeah, hair is for leopards, just like birds include rabbits and such. Yeah, I, I did not quite remember the name of the vicar and Emma, but also uh, Clueless is based on Emma, right? And there's a character named Elton in Emma who probably um, plays roughly the same or plays the analogous role to the Vicar Elton. Um, maybe I should have looked up Clueless, but... <laughs> yeah, so Cher is Emma Woodhouse, right? Alright, Mr. Knightley. Yeah, okay, well, shows you how high culture I am. Yeah, I like this clue. Uh, and the reason I got it fairly quickly was because Keeley was in the mini, and there's often a tie-in. A red tape. A lot of these things are clued pretty hard, um, but like purposefully, right? Like tan, lee, pen, and let, I think are clued um, purposefully harder, harder than you'd see earlier in the week. But a little bit of a theme, I guess. At least uh, two long cross-referenced ones. Heavy security. How legitimate a phrase is heavy security? I like the reference to the... To the um, okay, it's got 1.6 million hits. I like the reference to the, the weighted blanket. Because, you know, not only does a weighted blanket offer some security, but also there's like security blankets. They're literally heavy. It's kind of, an, it's kind of a nice cross-reference. It's not quite a theme. Um, but, you know, Friday and Saturday are generally themeless. Yeah, again, quite a hard clue. Yeah, and then this is also a clue, hard clue on ASAP, or it's a, it's, a, it's like a trivia clue, but to me it felt more Saturday-ish, frankly. Um, yeah, this is the the slang eats to mean food, right? Let's get some eats or whatever, but really clever misdirect 
It really seems like a, a verb. And in absentia is quite technical. I'm, I'm, I, I am proud of myself for getting in absentia and balayage pretty um <laughs> off of not much. I don't know much about balayage, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but now I'm sure I'll get ads for it now that I've Googled it. There's not a Wikipedia article? Is it? <laughs> this article is about the method of mathematics. <laughs> I see. In French, it means scanning or sweeping. Ah, okay. So I, I didn't know the, um, the mathematical definition either, but I'm not an analyst. I'm an, I'm an algebraist. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, again, hardcore on oven. Oh, that's right. We've got the latka and pies, both of which are pretty hard. Yeah, I found I found difficulty more or less everywhere in this puzzle. I like this clue. Make a lead balloon. That's really that's really clever. Okay, and I knew Arendelle, so I was lucky to get some of these long ones to get some kind of a foothold in here, but. Rev. I thought this would be like short for some kind of sermon or something, but no. You address the reverend. Yeah, to me this this played more like a Saturday, in that I felt like I was struggling all over the place. Not in an unfair way, just like required a lot of work, but but who knows? <laughs> Maybe tomorrow is gonna be incredibly difficult and uh and I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow that actually, no, this is what a Saturday feels like. Anyway, pretty slow for a Friday for me. Um, like, I think not that slow. I guess like seven minutes is what I hope for on a Friday, but under eight, something like that. Leaderboard for tomorrow at the moment, it's just me. What about on the old secret leaderboard? You hear me log into with a ferocious um, torrent of keystrokes, but no, nobody on the secret leaderboard either. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow for some Saturday puzzles. See you then.